Hey there, YouTubers! Back for another one. So it's like 100 degrees today, and I'm dying because I had to cut my fan off because I couldn't hear myself at first. So yeah. Love you guys though, because I love you enough to be in this hot heat and do this video. So I'm gonna jump right back in it. Um, today I'm gonna do my June favorites. I haven't done the favorites, I don't know if I ever did a favorites before. But I'm going to do one today because I've been like collecting a few things up and now that it's summertime I actually use these things consistently because it's what works for me. Airplane going by. Kind of loud. Ugh. The first thing that I use is going to be um, my Ovary Acne Stress Control Power Cream Wash from Neutrogena. It's my favorite thing to use. Um, I use this year round actually. Acne is like my number one problem and stress caused acne is my biggest issue. And ever since I started using this thing, it's been amazing for me. It's just helped clear up my face to the fullest and I could not be more happier. On to makeup, um, I really use like as little makeup as possible during the summer because I don't see that there's really a big point in using makeup. It's just going to melt off your face anyway. But I do like to use my Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is the Naked One Palette. Um, it's the only eye makeup, if I even decide to do my eye makeup that day, it's the only one that I do use. Um, my favorite colors for the summertime has to be um, the actual Naked Color. It's that one right there. And then I love Sidecar. It's like my favorite ever. And then whenever I want to define my crease, I definitely go for Dark Horse. I really love it, really, really, really love it. But yeah, those are like my favorite colors for the for the summertime because I just can't do with makeup. I, as for like foundation, actual foundation, the only thing that I really use in the summertime that really works for me, my Dream Matte Mousse makeup by Maybelline, and I am in the color Dark Three, yeah, Coco Dark Three. That's your girl. Sorry, I don't want really to have to powder myself that much or um blot my face um, yeah it's the only thing that I can use really without um making me super super oily because anything else I use I look crazy um another face product that I like to use is going to be my NYX mosaic blush palette um I actually got this from one of my ipsy bags like recently I think I think my April bag I got this in and ever since then, I've been using it like crazy. It's amazing. It gives like the perfect little hint of blush without even having to try so hard. Um, and this is um, number nine, Paradise. I don't know why I keep showing it to you guys. You can't see it because my camera does not focus well. I'm going to stop doing that. I like to use Sunbeam by Benefit. This is like the really small version because I got it in like a gift set with like a whole, other, a whole bunch of other things. Um, yeah, I love Sunbeam. It gives you like the perfect little highlight. I use it like on my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose just to give me like a little bit of the sun kiss look. Look. Kiss look. Yeah. Love that thing. Um, eyes. I like to do mascara barely but when I do I like to use a waterproof one. The one that I'm using right now is the waterproof mega plump mascara from Wet n Wild and I've had this for a few years. Not even. Not a few years. I've had this for a while now, and it's about time that I get rid of it because I don't want it to go bad on me. Um, another thing for eyes I like to use is going to be this little palette that I also got from Ipsy. Um, this is the J Cat Sparkling Cream Palette, and it has all these really, 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 really pretty shimmery colors. I mainly use these like for nighttime looks, or um, or just to like put a little glitter in the corner of my eye, as I do often. Yeah, that's what I use this sucker for. I also use this little bad boy right here too. Um, this is the Color Tattoo Metal by Maybelline, right? Yeah, love Maybelline, in case you didn't realize. This is the, what color is this? Inked in Pink, but this is the color. I really like this color. I like it as like a base because I feel like cream shadows and cream blushes are the way to go for the winter, for the summertime because they don't melt as quickly and they like stay in your face longer especially for those who have oily skin like myself. Back to liners, um, I don't really line my eyes that much because I have really oily lids and it usually gets like right up there which is so annoying by the way. But um, when I do use my liner I use the Maybelline Eye Studio. I use the black cream gel liner. We all know what this looks like. Like 
a million of us use this but it works so there's a reason why we all use it um another line that i recently got actually it also from ipsy um is caitlin eyeliner and it's the color in purple now this is also a gel liner it's a really cool one at that like there you go and then the the little the brush to it is right there i thought this was super cool so yeah i really really enjoy using it and i like to use color liners in the summertime so this came in handy very very well the purple is really really pretty and then i also like to use this blue one this blue one is from wet n wilds of course and it's the mega liner and this one is in the color 862a and it's a really 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 pretty like not even cobalt blue but a little bit brighter yeah here you go that's what it looks like it's like so pretty there you go it's so 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 pretty love this especially when you have like a nude eye like kind of what I'm doing today you just put this on and bring like beautiful pop straight to your eye so definitely love this one especially for brown eyes brown eyes and colored liners are amazing BTW in case you didn't know um now for lips I like to do stains in the, in the summertime because I just cannot be bothered with the smearing and the smudging and the the hair getting caught to your lips and you can peel it off and it gets stuck to your face too much that's just too much so um one uh, stain that I've really been enjoying is from Revlon. Oh, Maybelline. I just been sticking with Maybelline this whole time. Look at that. Um, it's a Super Stay 10 Stain Gloss. This is what it looks like. And the color that I have it in is... I can't even see it. 110. It's like a hot pink. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. And I really, really like it. Because, like, it doesn't leave my lips super, super dry. Because it, it does have that gloss factor. But, like... It ain't going nowhere. Okay, so for me, when I don't want to use a stain, I just go with a liner and then like a balm over the liner just to make it stay longer. And I've really been enjoying this liner. I got this also, guess where, from Ipsy. Um, and it's the, the Star Looks Tickle Me Pink liner. And it's really, really gorgeous. I'll give you like a little look at that. That's such a pretty pink and it's like a nudie pink. Well, not nude. Like mauve. It's like a mauve pink and when you put a balm over it, it comes out so, so pretty. So, I've really been enjoying that one as well. Now for my nails. It's a bright pink and these are actually the Impress Press On Nails. That's these. And they are amazing. Like, they give you like the whole little layout of how to apply them and how to wear them and all that good stuff. But like, once you put them on, they're not going anywhere. And um, I actually got the medium length ones. I know a lot of people get like the short ones, but I like a little bit of length to my nails as well. So, um, but yeah, I really like these. And like, I need my nails to grow because they look like crap right now. And this is like a really great way to not only protect your nails, but allow them to grow too. Um, and then um, for nails, I actually went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got the Pink Armor Nail Gel. Um, if you ever seen the infomercials at like 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning, you know that like they're supposed to be really, really good for like the nail growth and like the nail strength and stuff. So I decided to try that out. And it's okay for now. Um, they also brighten your nails, if I'm not incorrect. Yeah. They also brighten and nourish your nails. And they also give this nice little pink color to your nail. So it's really pretty by itself. You don't even have to put it on with anything. But I use it as a base and as a top coat. So let's see how that works out. You know, it's summertime, bugs are out, you don't really want to get eaten by anything, but you also want to smell nice. What I use is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Body Lotion from my job, Bath & Body Works. And it's it's a really, really, really good smell. Um, it's just for stress relief, and it does relieve stress in a great way. But I like it. I like to use it on like my legs, especially when you're at a barbecue, um, like at night time or anywhere. I definitely like to use this because... The, the eucalyptus spearmint inside of it actually repels bugs. So, you smell good and you repel bugs. Can't do nothing wrong with that. So, for fragrances as well, I've also been using the Dream Angels Glow Mist by Victoria's Secret. Um, me and my mom actually picked up one for each of ourselves from their semi-annual sale. And this also smells really, really great. It's like, it's like a floral baby powder-esque but with a hint of fruitiness. The bottle shape was very womanly, if you will. I have eczema, and my eczema actually re reacts really, really badly in the summertime. 
and not a lot of things work for me. I recently tried this. It's from the True Blue Spa Collection. It's a 100% Shea Butter All Purpose Super Moisture Ball. And this is what I've been using on all of my eczema issues and it's been working amazingly. It smells just like cocoa butter or shea butter. Like it takes away the itch factor, it takes away the dry factor. For the non-beauty favorite, like I said, I recently went to Bed Bath & Beyond. And while I was there, I picked up this huge pack of Tic Tacs. This is a 200-pack mint. Um, it's the Fresh Mint, the regular fragrance I think. Yeah, but I work in retail, and I have to talk to customers all day. And talking to somebody with funky breath, not the right way to go. Bath & Body Works is very secret and pink. We all had our semi-annual sales. And I ended up picking up a few of our room sprays as well. Um, I got the Bahama Fizz. This one reminds me of like drinking a cold strawberry like fizzy drink on a hot day. And, like one of my all time favorites that we always sell is Peach Bellini. It's it's legit peaches at a market. Like there's no other way to explain it. It's peaches at a market. If you like the smell of peaches, pick this up. If you like the smell of strawberries, pick this up. I've also been loving watches recently. Um, I know I've had a couple of outfit of the days with my Michael Kors watch, which I haven't been wearing because I need a battery for it. Yeah, I need to go do that ASAP. But um, I got this watch recently from Target, and it has like colorful gems all around it, and it's just a white band. And this is a really great accessory for the summertime. It looks great with everything, and I get a lot of compliments on it, especially when I wear it to work. So that's always good. And in case you guys didn't know, I love a great book. Um, the one that I have been reading recently is Good Woman Blues by Lynn Emery. Um, it's a really great book for now. To read it when I'm at the beach, when I'm on the bus headed to work, when I'm on the train. Whenever I get the chance, I just pick it up and just start reading it. Another one of my favorites is actually this bag. Um, I got this one from Tars J as well. Um, it's just a yellow bright pinstriped colorful beach bag it's see-through and it's amazing I'm actually going to include it in one of my um what to bring to the beach or how to pack for the beach that's where you're going to see this bad boy uh, that's it for now um I'm slowly melted over here hope you guys enjoyed happy July by the way we're more than halfway into the year and we feel like the year just started some of those almost what? This summer is almost over and I have yet to complete all the videos that I wish to do but I'm definitely going to do them before the summer's out before I go back to school because I just have to. Hope you guys have a great summer. Enjoy the rest of it. I'm definitely going to try to find some more videos. Love you guys. Bye. So hot. Got me feeling hot. Now I'm really gone.